Hey guys, Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over how to determine what's the acid base, conjugate acid, and conjugate base in a acid base reaction. Let's start with the def definition before we move on to some examples. The definition of a bronsylary acid is the reactant that gives up the proton, which is the H+, and then bronsylary base is the reactant that accepts the proton. So a acid will give up the H and then H+, and then the base will take up the H+. Conjugate base is the product that's formed when the acid loses H+, and then the conjugate acid is the product that's formed when the base gains an H+. This will all make a lot of sense when we look at some examples. You can also remember that the acid and the base, these will be on the reactant side, and then the conjugate acid and conjugate base, these will be on the product side. So let's move on to the example where we have to identify acid base, conjugate acid, conjugate base in the following reaction. The very first step that you should do is you should just pair up the 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 species that look the most similar on the reactant product side. So HNO3 looks most similar to NO3 minus, we'll put them in a pair, and then we'll also put NH3 and NH4 plus in a pair because they're similar. Then we can use the, we can look at the flow of like the protons to determine what's the acid and what's the base. But generally the, the acid will have an H in the front, and then we can also double check this because you can see that this guy is giving up an H to this guy uh, because you can see when it, it it gave him an H because it became NO3 minus on the other side. So then this would be the acid since it's giving up a proton. This one will be a base because it's accepting a proton and this is the opposite on the other side. So if it was a base on the reactant side it's going to be the conjugate acid on the product side and if it was an acid on the reactant side then it's the conjugate base on the uh, product side. So you can just remember it's the opposite, but we, let's also make sense of this. Well, let's take a look at the definition again. The conjugate base is the product that's formed when the acid loses an H+. Plus. Well, so if this is the acid and it loses H+, plus and it becomes NO3-, minus, so that's why it's the conjugate base. And then conjugate acid is the product that's formed when the base gains an H+. Plus. So NH3, when it picks up an H+, plus, it becomes an H4+, plus, and that's why it's the conjugate acid. Okay, let's take a look at the next example. So first step again, this is to pair it up. HCl3 minus that's most similar to CO3 2 minus and then um, this HPO4 2 minus is most similar to H2PO4 minus. Then we, this one is not as obvious because both the reactants contain an H so we have to compare to the products to determine what's uh, gaining the H and what's losing the H. You can see that the HCl3 minus is the one that's losing H because later it becomes CO3 2 minus. You see it's missing an H. So that means that's going to be giving up an H to the other reactant. So that makes this the acid because it has lost a proton. This one is going to be the base because it has gained a proton. And then this is the opposite on the other side. So if it's acid on this side, it's a conjugate base on the product side. And if it's a base on the reactant side, then it's a conjugate acid on the product side. And that's how you can determine what's the acid base, conjugate acid, conjugate base in a acid base reaction. Start by just pairing up the reactant products, then determine what's gaining electrons, what's, I mean, what's gaining protons, what's uh, losing protons to uh, assign acid base, and then just remember on the product side, it's the opposite. So if it's acid, it's a conjugate base, and then if it's a base, it's the conjugate acid. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.